model of a DAF box truck and trailer is in the colours of Vlug of Holland. It comprises two separately numbered models, 10132 is the box truck and 10133 is the trailer. Although it's sold as a set, it does come as two separately boxed models. The box truck comes in a smaller WSI branded box and it's factory sealed so you need to cut the tape in order to free the lid and then when you lift the lid up you can take the model directly out. There's no instructions or parts with it so it's ready to be displayed straight out of the box. The trailer packaging is very similar although it is a much larger box. And again when you pull out the polystyrene tray the lid is factory sealed so you need to cut the tape and when you lift the lid you can get the two parts of the model out. The small part is a two axle dolly which connects directly to the box truck and the other part is the trailer itself and again there are no parts to fit on this model. Starting with the box truck, the chassis is high quality with nearly all the parts made in metal and the tyres look good with a different tread pattern front and rear. Looking closely, the tyres are mounted on detailed good looking wheels. WSI's version of the DAF CF cab is very good with excellent lights top and bottom and there's a detailed number plate as well. There's some very small and detailed graphics on the cab doors including the DAF model number and a Vlug fleet number. Under the box there's plastic impact protection with a fuel tank behind. The box itself is all metal so it really feels quite robust and it's beautifully painted with excellent graphics. And on the tail the lights and number plate look authentic and convincing. The two axle dolly is a detailed high quality part with coiled air lines, hoses and a cranking handle on the stabiliser. The underside of the trailer has a good structure and the modelling of the axles looks good too. The large tyres have a good tread pattern and they're mounted on detailed wheels. At the front of the trailer there are connectors for the airlines and there are some small graphics which are detailed and clear. And as with the box truck the trailer box is metal and it's very well decorated. The high quality paintwork extends to the rear where the doors look good and there's a special sign for this very long truck. Starting with the box truck, it rolls well enough, but you do need to make sure that the tyres are properly mounted on the wheels. Looking underneath, the rear wheels are all fixed onto the same axle. But the good news is that WSI have improved the steering on their trucks, and this one has a very good range of movement. That means that more interesting poses are possible with the wheels turned to a hard lock. And in fact, the truck also rolls well along a reasonable curve. The other feature on the truck is that you can tilt the cab forward and it stays tilted and that lets you see a pretty detailed engine which has got the Packard name on it. When you're done looking the cab closes back down nicely. There are a couple of working features on the trailer. As you would expect it rolls perfectly fine but it's also got fully sprung suspension and each one of the axles has got its own springs and works independently and that's been engineered really well by WSI. If you want to pose the trailer without a tractor you can lower the two landing legs and they just unscrew down into position. But the nice aspect of these is that they don't show the screw thread that controls them and they've got smooth pistons so they look authentic. The two axle dolly has the same kind of suspension characteristics with again each of the axles having its own independently sprung suspension. Just like the trailer it has its own stabiliser for when it's not connected up to a truck and it's got the same standard of model engineering so it works well. Another feature of the dolly is that in theory you can alter the length of the drawbar. The extending tow bar is pinned and when you take out the pin you can see that there are a number of holes which should give you the chance to set some different positions but unfortunately the holes are slightly smaller than the pin for some reason so you'd need a smaller pin to make this work. With all the parts of the model having been checked over we can now assemble the parts into the complete vehicle. The draw bar on the dolly just clips into a towing hitch on the truck and that's an easy connection to make and it stays in place perfectly well if you try to move the model. Next up you can just attach the pin on the trailer onto the fifth wheel on the dolly and that's just a conventional connection just like any trailer onto a tractor. When it's all joined up you can see the modelling is pretty good because there's a full range of movement between the trailer, the dolly and the box truck. This is certainly a good looking commercial truck by WSI. The features are fine although it would have been nice if the boxes had had opening doors but certainly it's an impressive well made truck with good quality detailing. It's highly recommended. Yeah.